Do you want to boost your chess skills by solving 50 puzzles in Chesscom and learn how to do it from Grandmaster? Keep watching. Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Nitzan Steinberg, I'm Chess Grandmaster and today we are going to solve 50 puzzles on Chesscom in Puzzle Rush Survival Mood. You will learn how to calculate multiple moves ahead, understand positions, spot weaknesses and of course how to win chess games. Let's dive right in. So my top score is 60 but today we will do only 50. Let's start. So I'm clicking on play and let's see the first position. So I'm playing with the black pieces. Let's understand what we see. So we have a knight and a bishop and four pawns, right? Against two rooks, bishop and five pawns. But what can we see here? That these two, bishop, two rooks are in the same diagonal in, in our bishop. So the first move that comes to my mind is to take this rook with check, right? And the next move will be this rook on g1, right? So let's do it. We are taking this rook with check and we finish the game, right? Great. Next one. So here we have rook and a bishop and three pawns against rook, rook and how many pawns we have? Seven, right? With seven pawns. So we are down exchange and also three pawns. But the king on h5 is very weak piece. So now, as you can see the rook here, we just can take it and checkmate the king, right? Because the king cannot go anywhere. So we are just taking it and finishing the puzzle. Now we are down a queen and it's very good and important pattern in this tactic. So we can see that this row is empty row. And if we're, we can bring a rook or a queen here, will give a checkmate to this king because this king doesn't have any window to jump on. So we are down a queen, we have four pawns against four pawns, but just an unbelievable amazing queen here for white. But we have this rook, so we are putting the rook on b1. Let's calculate, so after rook b1 he will play the move rook c1, we will take it, queen d1 and we will take it, we checkmate on the board, right? Can you see it in your head? Let's do it together, rook b1 check, rook takes c1 and rook takes d1, we checkmate. The same thing here, we are down two pawns, right? These two pawns, but we can see that this king doesn't have any window. So if we bring a rook or the queen in this row, the first row, uh, it's very interesting pattern that we already learned. So let's bring it, rook a1, he will play the move rook b1, we will take it and that's it, the game is over. Just checkmate on the board, great. Let's see these positions. So we have rook and a bishop and we have like how many pawns? We have six against rook, knight, bishop and four pawns. So we are down full knight, right? And we have two pawns for this knight. And also you can see that the rook is under attack here. But what can we realize? This king on g7 not feeling so good, right? He can't go here, can't go here. And of course in the 8th row this rook just avoiding from, from the king to escape to there. So we just need to find some one move to check this king. How can we do it? We have this black bishop. Where this where this b black bishop can move, bishop e5. And if we're putting this bishop to e5, we're attacking this king and there is nothing to do with it. Bishop e5, checkmate on the board. Next one, let's see. So we have bishop against bishop, rook against rook, rook against rook. Wow, we have two knights below, right? We are down two knights and it seems that also in pawns, we have four pawns against five. So yeah, we are absolutely losing, but what about his king's safety on a3? This king can go only a4 and to, to stay on this uh, square on a3. So we just need to attack it. But if we were playing rook a5, this knight here, and he can take us. Um, but rook a8, what about rook a8? If we were bringing the rook to a8, let's think about it, consider it. Bishop a7, we will take it. Knight a5, we will take it. And it will be checkmate to this king. 
let's do it rook a8 takes and takes checkmate okay what about this position so we have two rooks against we have two rooks and a bishop against rook and four pieces so and also let's understand what is going on here because this rook on d8 is under attack this bishop on f1 is under attack right and so we are in trouble but what can we say about this king safety this bishop is looking very strong here oh but who can bring us to the h3 square the queen oh interesting let's think about queen h3 check right it will be a check king g1 the only move and then queen g2 checkmate right can you see it let's do it together queen h3 yeah the game is over so what about this position um i think the evaluation of the pieces are equal right queen against queen bishop against bishop bishop against knight knight against knight two rooks against two rooks and the pawns we have seven against seven so everything is under control here but what about this king's safety we have this queen and this bishop and they both consider about this square on f2 right they're looking for this one if we're taking with this queen the king cannot go here not here and not here and of course can't take this queen because the bishop defend this square right so just queen takes f2 checkmate on the board come on let's jump into it so bishop d5 was played we have two rooks against two rooks knight against bishop queen against queen and we have five pawns against four pawns so we are up one pawn and our problem here that this bishop is attacking this queen and also this rook on a8 so what can we do here it's a problematic but we already learned a very important pattern we can see that the first row here only this rook is defending it and we have also queen and also rook that claiming something about this rook row of course so also we can see that these pawns are not bringing a window for this king so we only need to destroy this rook on h1 and to have the possibility to bring this rook to e1 let's calculate so if we were taking this rook we check bishop takes h1 and then rook e1 check the only move for white is to play rook d1 discover and just take it we checkmate on the board let's do it checkmate great okay what about this position interesting position so what do we have here we have king and two rooks of course with two pawns against two rooks and two pawns so what can we say about this position but the king here on h3 as you can see is very active piece so my first intuition here is to bring the rook to g2 we check king must go to h1 and then we can take this pawn we check king come back to g1 and then i thought about rook e3 to bring the rook to g3 with some checkmate ideas let's let's think about it and do it so rook g2 yeah and that's it okay so what about this position we have rook and, uh, and a queen of course against rook and a queen but there is also knight so we are down full piece uh, for one pawn it's very bad for us but what can we tell about the king's safety so if we're putting queen f7 check the king cannot take it because of this rook so he must go after queen f7 to king h8 and then these pawns oh there is no window for the king so maybe we realize our pattern our last row pattern queen f8 check rook takes and rook takes f8 we checkmate on the board let's do it queen f7 check queen f8 we are sacrificing our queen and rook takes f8 we checkmate okay we are starting it to be very interesting come on let's do it together so we are on already in the 11 um, puzzle so what do we have here we are down so many pieces what can i tell you guys we have queen against queen bishop against bishop bishop against bishop but we are down one rook and two knights oh bad situation but our queen and bishop very active what can we 
Duir. Queen takes c3, we are taking this knight and it will be a check. King d2 cannot be possible because of the queen here. King d1 and king e2 cannot be played because of this diagonal. So queen c3, just winning position, right? Checkmate on the board. So it's very important for you to understand that the first thing that we uh, searching when we're doing these puzzles are taking things, right? Capturing, um, checks of course, and uh, some, you know, some developments, right? So here, just capture the knight, we check, checkmate, great. What about this position? So we have rook against rook, queen against queen, bishop against knight, we have five pawns against four pawns, so we are one pawn up. But the king on h8 looking very bad. How can we attack it? So first, intuition maybe will come to rook d8 check, but king g7 and then, I don't see any check here, right? So maybe we have another check, maybe queen h6 check. The only move for black is to put king g8 and then we will bring the rook to d8 check. Rook e8 is the only move here and we will take it. Can you see it in your head? Think about it. Queen h6 check and now we're bringing the rook to d8 to the last file, last row, sorry, and checkmate, great. Okay, what about this position? So we are down full rook, unbelievable. We are down full rook, right? So, and two pawns against five pawns. So three pawns and one rook. It's very bad, but we have a very strong pieces here, very active one. So the first intuition here is a check, like we already learned. So queen h2 check, king f2, and then bishop g3 check it will be a checkmate and why let's understand so queen h2 check king cannot take it and cannot play king h1 because of this queen and also because of this bishop that's guarding this square he will go to f2 and then we can see that this row uh, this file with rook with rook is doing just amazing job so we just need to attack this king but how can we do it bishop g3 and that's it right let's do it together queen h2 check that's it yeah so 95, let's think about this position. So, so overall, I think that we are down one pawn, right? Uh, all of the pieces are in the board. So we are thinking about capturing, right? So the first capture is this knight on d5 because we have this knight on c3. So if we take it, he will take us back. We will take another capturing the d6 pawn. And what can we think? This pawn on e6 is not here anymore, right? Is on d5 square. So if we're attacking this pawn on d6, right? Takes, takes, takes. This file will open for this queen and we're attacking this bishop. So this bishop cannot go anywhere. We will take this bishop the next move. Let's show it. Knight takes d5, it takes d6, and that's it. The bishop cannot go anywhere. Bishop e6, just giving up the bishop. Thank you. We're winning the game. Queen f3. We are down full knight on this position and also, no, the pawns are equal. So what do we have about this king? Let's think how can we attack it and checks, right? So the first check that I think about is queen b8 check. Let's think about it. It will be a checkmate, but wh why? Because king c7 cannot be played because of this queen. King c8, of course, uh, the same answer. King d7 and king e8, just the rook here uh, is avoiding from this king to come to the e file. So queen b8 will be checkmate on the board. Let's continue. We have, oh, where is our queen? Where is our queen? Oh, we missed her. So g5, we're attacking this bishop. But we are down full queen, it's very bad. But this king is feeling very weak. Let's think about checks. Bishop takes f7 check. King e7, the only move, right? To d8 cannot be played because of this rook, right? And to d7, of course, also. Just, just king e7, the only move. Let's think about it. Rook, bishop takes f7, king e7, and bishop takes g5. And then this bishop, this, this uh, sorry, this uh, king here cannot go anywhere. To f6, no. To e6, no. To d6, d7, d d8, no. And e8, no. So the position is just lost. Checkmate on the board. Bishop takes f7 and bishop takes g5. With four pieces, we're giving a checkmate on the board. 
great let's think about this position wow this is interesting position so we are down wow 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 we are down rook and a bishop but we have one pawn up but we have past pawn don't think about you know the past pawn is very important piece because e7 here right the only hope for us is to put this pawn promoting queen but how can we do it if we're playing the move e7 we will attack this knight on d8 and also promoting a queen on e8 and there is no move to avoid from it right to defend from promoting a queen if after e7 he will take this knight on d7 we will take this knight on d8 with promotion of a queen right and if after e7 he will go for for example to e6 to f7 to b7 we're just promoting the queen on e8 let's do it together e7 and now e8 queen bishop takes just bishop, just queen takes right yeah great okay what about this position so we have your queen against queen rook against rook 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 knight knight we are down a full bishop right so this is the change um, and we have three pawns for this bishop so it's not so uh, easy for, for white but let's understand so he's attacking our queen so the first thing that we must understand and uh, think about is takes right capturing so if we were captured this rook on c1 he will take us back rook takes c1 rook takes c1 and then the bishop on e2 will be weak we just can take it right there will no be um, any piece with white pieces that just defend this bishop because this rook already gone and this queen already gone so queen takes c1 rook takes c1 and rook takes c2 just winning a piece let's calculate so we are down full queen and we have only this knight and the bishop in active position but this king on e8 is very weak one we know this pattern already that we have uh, this bishop is claiming this pawn on f7 and this knight is covering him so let's do it together bishop takes f7 checkmate on the board because after bishop f7 king d7 is not be played because of this knight and also king takes f7 because of this unbelievable knight here on e5 bishop takes winning position knight e5 so what about this one we are down two pieces two knights oh no about the pawns we have um one pawn up but of course it's not important because this king on e1 is very uh, in trouble right how can we attack this king on e1 so we can understand this diagonal is really weak this is the only check that I can see here. So queen h4, right? The first move. After g3, just queen capturing this pawn. Rook f2, and we will capture with the queen with checkmate on the board. Because this king doesn't have any moves, any squares to escape from. Queen h4 check. Queen takes g3 and checkmate. Yeah. Oh no. We are down two rooks. Two rooks and a knight. Oh no. Oh no but we have a queen we have this queen so let's think about this king he cannot go here he cannot go here he cannot go here and he cannot go here so we just need to attack it only move here for king e4 but queen e3 it's not good because of this rook and because of this knight so let's think about the first uh, check that we can see here queen g7 check the only move for this king is to escape to e4 and then we will come with his queen to d4 and it will be a checkmate on the board let's see it queen g7 check queen d4 checkmate because there is nothing to escape great what about this position so we have queen against queen rook against rook bishop against knight and this king on f7 is a really weak king how can we attack it so queen c4 is the first check that we are realizing in this position the only move for this king is to escape to f6 but then queen e6 will be checkmate on the board because this bishop is doing just amazing job here and there is nothing to move queen takes d5 and queen e6 
checkmate on the board. Okay, so let's continue quickly because we don't have so much time. So rook f8 check on the king on b8 and the first move we are capturing this rook with this rook and then queen takes c7, right? This is the point because if rook takes f7, f8 we'll just grab it with our queen. So let's think it another time. Rook f8, queen takes c7 but then we have intermediate check. Rook takes f1 check. The king must take it and we will take with our rook the queen on e7 and we will be a rook up. Can you see it in your mind? Let's do it together. Rook takes f8, rook takes f1 and rook takes e7 with winning position. Let's think about this one. It's, it's more complexity, you know, every single uh, puzzle it will be more uh, hard and difficult, but we can do it together. So this queen in our diagonal and we have like this diagonal, very important. So if we can play the move knight g4, we have double threats. Also the bishop on d4, of course, the queen will be under attack and also, don't forget, Queen takes h2 will be checkmate on the board. So let's think about this situation and realize this is the best for us. Because also don't forget that this bishop is protecting this g4 square for the knight. So let's do it. Knight g4 and now bishop takes and we are up a queen. Let's calculate. So now, okay, we can see that f6 is very bad move every single position because this diagonal will be very weak for him. Uh, of course, only if this king didn't castle f6 is very bad. And now it's very important and easy one because we already learned this pattern. We're bringing this queen to h5 and the, the next moves will be checkmate because king f8 or king e7, queen f7, checkmate on the board, right? This knight is doing an extremely good job here. Queen h5, th that's it. The, th the same things here, but it will be not checkmate because after queen f2 check, King d3 he can escape, but let's calculate together. This knight on e4 is under attack. So we will take this knight on c5, we check on this king. d takes c5, the only move for him to take the knight. And then we will bring this bishop to f5, we checkmate on the board because this queen here and the bishop here just winning every single square here. So let's do it together. Queen f2, take this knight and now bishop f5, right? Bishop f5 and as you can see this king doesn't have any moves to play. Bishop f5, checkmate on the board. Another one. So what about this position? It's really nice one. So then queen is under attack and we are down full piece. But the king on e8 is a very weak one. And don't forget that this queen is on the same diagonal this queen on d5 so if we can manage to play knight d6 check and take this queen we checkmate right checkmate for not for the king but checkmate in the board right because we are winning position we have full queen up so knight takes d6 right we can do it and check and the game is over so b5 was played so in this position it's you know like rook end game and we have two pawns against two pawns but the king here is very weak one is passive but our king is very active and we would like to play rook c8 with checkmate on the board but we can't do it because after rook c8 just king takes f7 and that's it so we must bring our king to a better active position king f6 and the next move will be rook c8 and checkmate because the king on f6 just blocking the opportunity for this king to go to e7 or g7 and that's it the game is over king f6 quiet move and the next move, rook c8, rook d8, checkmate. Let's continue. So we are down full rook and the king on d1 is a very weak one. Let's think how to attack it. So queen e2, as you can see, the first check that comes to my mind, king c1, and then I can take the pawn on e3, and the next move, the rook on g1 will check, the game is over. Queen e2 check, queen e3, queen g1, and the game is over. Let's calculate. So the queen here attacking this queen uh, and as I can see that the bishop here is a little bit on the air, right? So which piece for now is uh, defending this b3 square? Only the queen. So we just can uh, take it, g takes f3 and then bishop takes b3. We're taking full bishop and we're winning the game. 
Queen takes f3, we are exchanging the, the pair of queens, and now bishop takes b3, and rook takes, of course, and winning the game. So this position, we really want to promote a queen, but we can't, because now, until now, we are down full rook. But the king here on f6 is a little bit, you know, open. So do we have some check? And also, we need to find a check with this queen, and also to provide the opportunity to promote the queen on b8. So the solution is queen h8 check. We're doing a check, right? And the next move will be just promoting a queen, a new queen. Queen h8, and promoting a queen, and take it, and that's it. In this position, we are in our rook end game, and okay, it's past pawn, of course, but we really want uh, to exchange these rooks, right? How can we do it? So rook g6, the first move come to my mind. After rook e6, we will play the move king g5. Very important because the rooks will be, uh, you know, we will exchange these two rooks, but then we must bring our king to g7 to promoting this pawn, right? So rook g6, and of course, if we will play the move rook king d5, we will play rook g5. Rook takes, king takes, king e6, king g6, king e7, king g7, and then the pawn will run to promoting a queen. Let's do it. Takes, takes, king g6, king g7, and that's it. So, this position, what about this one? So, we are down rook exchange, right? Because we have bishop against bishop, knight against knight, but bishop against rook. So, we are down exchange, but this king on d7 is a very weak piece. We really want to bring a checkmate on the board, but queen d8, king c6, and this king is just running. So the first thing that we need to consider is to attack this king from this diagonal, and then queen d8 will be checkmate, right? So for example, bishop b5 check. Next move, he will play the move c6 or knight c6, and just queen d8, checkmate on the board, because there is nothing to play with this king. Bishop b5 check, and that's it. So let's continue. Uh, what about this position? Wow, this is really nice tactic. So, um, the queen is pinned. We are losing. What can we say? Queen d6, just queen takes d6, and we are down a queen. What can we, what can we do? What, what can we say? Only cry, I think. But no, the game is not over. We have very important thing here. When we are in such position, we must think about and consider Capturing! What can we capture? Oh, rook takes d1? It's a check. If rook takes, of course, we will take this queen on a6. So probably after rook takes d1, he will take it with the king. But then we can recognize this file. If we will play rook d8 there, this rook will be pinned. And if rook takes d8, we will take this queen on a6. This is the solution. Let I show you, rook takes d1 check, and now rook d8, it's a pin, and now taking the queen, and we're winning the game. So, what do we have here? So, let's think about capturing, uh, first move is come to my mind with bishop takes g6, after f takes, just knight takes d5 with piece up, but after bishop g6, probably knight takes d3, but then I will take with the queen, and attack this queen on a d8 with the rook, and the next move, We'll go back with the bishop from g6. So let's do it. Bishop takes g6. And now just knight takes d5. Take everything. And we are winning position. Okay. So what about this one? We are two crooks against queen. Knight against knight. But we are also down a bishop. So the position is bad for us. But we have a pass pawn. Don't forget. Don't, you know, like it's very important to understand this pass pawn is promoting a queen, right? So the, the Problem here, after a2, you just will take it with the bishop. So we must take this bishop down. Let's think about it now. If rook takes b3, right? c takes, for example, or king takes, but just promoting a queen, a2. And the next move will be promoting a queen. Let's do it. Rook takes b3, king takes, a2, and now queen g5. Oh, stop. If we will play the move a1 queen, Queen takes g7 is a checkmate, and we are winning. We are we're losing the game, of course. So we need to stop for one minute and think. It, it will not be very easy, right? Don't forget it. When you are solving chess puzzles and tactics, it's anytime difficult and hard. 
you must be 100% concentrate in what you're doing. So here, a defense move, knight g6. Knight g6, controlling this pawn from g7, from this queen, of course, on g5. And that th that's it. Queen a1 will be the next move and promoting and winning position with rook up. So knight g6, and now promoting a queen and rook takes. The game is over. So c2 was played. We have a queen against queen, rook against bishop, where are exchange up. But this pawn is a past pawn and we already learned about this past pawn. So let's think how can we win it. Um, I also need to think now, I'm joking. Rook g8 check, right? We are already think about checks and captures. So rook g8 is the only check that I can see. King h6 and now queen f8 check, right? Bishop g7, the only move, and then just queen takes g7. We checkmate because these two pawns are doing just amazing job here. Uh, so let's do it. Rook g8, queen f8, and take it. We checkmate on the board. Let's think another time here. So we have like this file very strong, this pin, two pins here. So it's not so easy for white. The first move is capturing, right? Bishop takes a three. And if knight takes, we're taking this queen. If queen takes, if queen takes, we're taking this knight and we're peace up. And if if g takes, so queen g5 check, and then we will take this knight. So it's easy one, and now rook takes d2, and that's it. Let's calculate. So what about this position? We are down a piece, but let's think about capturing. Knight takes c6. If knight takes, just rook takes c8, and we are winning absolutely because of this pin also, uh, and that's it. So let's think another time. After knight takes c6, if queen takes, just queen takes, knight takes, and then we will take this rook and also this bishop on f8. So we are winning the game, right? Knight takes c6, capturing. Don't forget, capturing or checks. Take it and take here, and of course, winning position. What about this one? So uh, this knight is under attack, this knight is under attack, and this queen is here. Maybe I can take it. So queen d1 check, king takes d1, and then knight g4, right? We'll take take and knight g4. And after knight g4, we have two threats. Also the knight on f3 and also the pawn on f2 with four here. So one of them will be lost. Queen takes d1, knight g4, and e takes f3 with full knight up. What about this one? So, whoa, 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 whoa. Um, I need to think here. Okay, so first thing that I, comes to my mind is to capture it, right? Um, I don't see anything else for now. Um, mm, 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 mm. It's not so easy. I don't see the solution for now. But probably I can, yeah, probably night, yeah, okay, I understand. So in this position, the, you know, we are down one pawn. But this king will be maybe weak and also, you know, this knight and this bishop and this queen and this rook, something is feeling strange, right? So let's think about take it, right? And now this king on b8 is a little bit weak and open and then we will have like interesting move, the move knight d4. And after knight d4, we are attacking this pawn with triple fork, triple fork. Can you believe it? Yes, it is. Knight d4. And rook takes, just bishop takes, in winning position. So what about this one? Um, this king on g7, not feeling so good. So let's calculate. It's not so easy here. Uh, as you can see, the rating here is more than 2,250. Uh, so let's calculate. So rook e5, the first move is a check, as we already learned, bishop h6 check. The only move for him is king g8. Otherwise, king h8, just queen f6 check, king g8 and queen g7 checkmate. So bishop h6, king g8, and then queen takes f6. With queen g7, checkmate ideas. Bishop f8, he must play. Can you see it in your mind? I believe in you. So bishop h6, king g8, queen f6, bishop f8. We are taking this bishop. If queen takes, just queen takes e5, and we are just up rook. So he will take with the king maybe, but then after, let's do it again. Takes, king takes. Queen h8 check, king e7 the only move, and then we will come back to take the rook on e5. So let's do it, bishop h6, queen f6, and then take it, 
and the, the game is over. Rook h6 check. Interesting. So how can we avoid from checks here, right? This is the question because we really want to promote a queen. So if we're playing move king e7, there will be rook h7 check and rook a7. So it's a bad option. So the only move that I can see in my head that king e5, rook e6, king d4. And after rook e1, we'll have rook b1 and the next move will be promoting a queen. So it should be the solution. King e5, king d4, king now c3 probably. Um, yeah, and now king, yeah, king b4 of course. Now rook b1 and promoting a queen. 44, come on, let's do it again. So what about this position? So the bishop is on the air, right? Let's consider, we have two options here. First one is bishop takes a three because we are taking this knight away uh, to defend this bishop, but then just queen takes or bishop takes and attacking this rook on a8. And don't forget about this rook on a8. So the only move uh, that comes to my mind is bishop g5. But then knight takes, bishop takes g2. If king takes, just queen takes g5 with piece up. And if we will play the move queen h5, for example, attacking this h7 square with checkmate on the board, we will have the option to play h6. And that's it, the g5 knight will be under attack. So let's do it, bishop g5, bishop g2. And then, don't forget, queen h7. It's a checkmate idea. h6, slowly move, the game is over. So in this position, what do we have here? We have queen against queen, two pawns against four pawns. We are down two pawns, but the game is not over. We can do it. Come on. So let's think about checks. Queen e1 check. Uh, we have g3, queen h1 mate. If he will play queen g3, queen h1, queen h2, queen takes checkmate. And if queen e1, king h5, just queen h1 checkmate. So we are bringing the queen to also the h5, right? And the only square that coming uh, to h1 is e1. So we will do queen e1 check, and queen h1 and queen takes, we checkmate. Uh, and what about this one? So we have two rooks maybe in the air, right? So let's consider about one move that's attacking two squares, b5 and c8. What is this square? You're right, a6. Let's do it. Queen a6, attacking also this rook and also this rook. And as you can see, rook takes b1, just queen takes c8 check, and rook takes b1. And we are full rook up. Let's do it, queen a6. And then queen c4, just queen takes b5, right? And that's it. Rook takes, we are up a rook. So 47, let's do it. Rook, knight takes c1. So what can you tell me about this position? Um, let's think together because it's something not so easy, right? Um, mm, 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 mm. I need to think also, as you can see. Okay, I found it. So we are down rook, right? We have rook, we have knight, we have bishop, but we are down rook and bishop. And also one pawn, right? Yeah. But the king on a8 is really weak. So let's think about checks. Queen a8 check, king d7, the only move. Knight c5 check, as you can see, is also controlling this square and also attacking this king on d7. And don't forget that the king cannot go to d8, e8, or c8 because of the queen here. So he must go to c6. Queen takes b7 check. The only move here for him is to take the knight on c5, but then b4 coming to checkmate this king on c5 because also this rook is doing great job in this file. Let's do it. Queen a8 check, knight c5, queen takes b7 and b4 checkmate on the board. So what about this position? So, um, you know, the pieces are the same, equal, and let's consider how can we attack it. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, so it's not so easy, right? Okay, so the queen here in this file, and we really need to think about some, some threats here. So the first move that comes to my mind is knight g4, attacking two things, also the pawn on f2 with the queen, and also the queen on h5 with the rook. So after knight g4, let's do it, knight g4, queen takes h8, just grabbing our rook, we'll 
played move rook queen takes f2 check, king d1 the only move, and then knight e3 check. Can you see it in your head? Bishop takes e3, and then bishop g4 check, attacking this king. And then after knight f3 just bishop takes, bishop e2 just queen takes, king c1 and queen e3 check, and also bishop takes h1. So many things here, I, I will show you it. Knight g4, oh, queen x7, just take it, and king takes, and peace up. Okay, so what about this position? We are up exchange, and rook takes d2. Seems to be a very interesting capture, right? Uh, so I am not sure why not. I think I will play it. I will play it. Rook takes d2. Yeah, rook b1 was uh, my intuition here. After king takes b1, uh, he will take the rook on d2 and then he will try to do like some uh, checks here. So many th checks, right? Queen b4. But then we will bring the queen to b8. Let's do it. King b1, queen takes d2, queen b8. Very prophylactic move. Queen d3 check, king a1. And then after queen c3, just queen coming back to b2 with winning position. Maybe not. No, it's it is the solution, I think. Yeah, queen b8. Yeah. Okay, what about this position? So it was the 50. So let's do the last one. You know what? It was the 50. We finished it. Our goal was finished. Ladies and gentlemen, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to smash that like button. We learn so much things about how to solve chess puzzles. Think about capturing, about checks and calculation, right? If you're doing the calculation in your head, it really can improve your chess skills and also to, to bring the opportunity for your, uh, you know, like for your skills, for your thoughts to be in the mind, right? Not only the chess board, not only to move pieces, also in like a full board that in your mind. See you soon in the next videos. Bye-bye.